morning. We need to wash them too. Go ahead and take him and wash them. Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Me and Brody is fixing to cook a cow horn. Now y'all, most of you know that we went and bought a steer processed up in uh, North Mississippi. I, it ain't really, it's more central, but anyway, north of here. And we got the whole steer, we got the tongue, heart, some bunch of extra stuff. I fixed to cook this heart in a Dutch oven, out here in the fireplace, in front of the shed. So we're gonna be doing some outdoor cast iron cooking. I have never cooked a heart this big, so um, it needs probably some more washing than the what I have got. I just pulled it out of the refrigerator. It's been thawing. I had it soaking in some water. Brody is gathering up some potatoes. I hear him up there hollering. He's got some. So anyway, what I'm fixing to do is I'm going to take my pocket knife here. My new one. Fishing knife. I've showed it a time or two, but anyway, this is an imperial. And I'm going to trim wipe it off real good on your britches leg where you know it's clean i'm gonna cut this tallow off what do you call it fat beef tallow I think on a beef it is tallow i know on a deer it's tallow yeah, he, he's that boy got his pockets loaded down so what i'm gonna probably do with this fat that i am trimming off of this heart is I don't know I'm, I may save it if I wanted I like to render it down I bet that would be good to uh, render down and put okay. over pemmican I got it. okay hang on let me let me get done what I'm doing right here <laughs> little lamb right up there you having difficulty or reaching. That boy been out there eating figs, y'all. Wait, let me wash this one. I mean, we're going to have to wash all of them, buddy. These folks, they, they'll scold us. We go, hey, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh -uh. Don't wash them in that rain barrel. We'll, we'll take them in there in the sink and wash them. Yeah. It'll, it'll be better. If we don't go to washing stuff right on here, they, they some folks watching this that they, they look for something to scold you about. We'll get in bad trouble. I mean, sure enough. We need to go inside and use that thing to go look at these potatoes. Well, no, we're not going to cut them up in that thing. He's talking about that deal you pull that makes french fries out of them. Hark. No, we're gonna just cut them up in chunks. Chunks? Yeah, you know what a chunk is? Oh, you throwing them in the dirt. Oh, I didn't throw them in the dirt. <laughs> okay. Well, tell them people up there what we are to do here. Let, let me, while I'm trimming, y'all let him entertain you there for a minute. Tell them what we are cooking. Deer heart. It's cow heart. But some people call it. Call it well, turn around and tell him what, what we're doing. We're cutting up this deer heart. Cow heart. <laughs> Cow heart. And what, how are we going to cook it? We're going to cook it and we're going to fry it. We're going to cook it out there over the over the fire. It's still got ice in it, Brody. Yeah, we're going to eat that. All right, I'm going I'm gonna to cut it in three big old pieces, I think. Boy, don't y'all know that'd make a fine steak? Yeah. We're going to cook it a little bit like a roast, but now, I'm going to tell you, I'd really like to just grill that like a roast. I mean, I mean like a steak. Boy, look at that big old chunk of ice, Brody. All right. We got this. 
All right, I'm gonna take all of this in there and wash it. I got a, ain't we got an ice cream bucket sitting around over here? A nasty one, I can put that. I tell you what, I got one right here. Back it. Let me just stick this in here for now. We're gonna put all this fat in that bag right there for now. I've been out here working on some knives and whatnot, and now my hands are nasty. I had to put, this is an old case knife, and I had to put an end on it. For Mr. James Lynch. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get where y'all can sort of see him. He's, he's more entertaining than I am. We've got all these potatoes right here. And I'm going to have to go wash them and we're going to cut them up. I got my cast iron out here. Sort of getting warm. We got to go get set up. Well, how are we going to get it right? We're going to put a little bit of oil in there. Then we're going to cut up some potatoes and some onions. And I may not put a lot else in there. We're going to put a lot of Tonys, I'm sure. So anyway, let us get on to the next phase. We're fixing to wash all this first, though, off camera. I ain't going to film all that. I sent Brody in there to get some onions. We got goldenrod tea going right over here behind us on the rocket stove in that little old pot. He's trying that. He he picked some goldenrod down there a while ago, so we're making it fresh. Oh, uh, wipe my knife off. You know, I got to cut up some potatoes. I washed my cutting board off. I've got all of this stuff washed in this bucket. Oh, uh, do what? He made boy. He did good, y'all. Look at him. He can come back with two of the biggest, prettiest onions you ever seen in your life. All right. Oh, I had this out there somewhat warming up. Let's get our... We're going to lay our pieces of meat over in there. Oh. We're going... We're going to need a good bit of, so what I do, I wash these. I'm just going to cut them up here, y'all, in chunks. Mama! Mama! We got to, we got some, we got two of your onions. You did. But we didn't steal them. We didn't steal them. We just borrowed them, didn't we? We didn't steal them. We didn't steal them. Well, I just went in there. I went in there and got them. He's the one went and got them. What y'all been cooking? You know, cow heart. Need that full heart. What you been doing? Well, we've been chop. We've been doing the logs down there, and then we started cooking, cooking over here. We went down there and peeled logs, didn't we? So you've been working? Yeah, he's been working hard today, Mama. Now, I'm sure y'all, that some of you probably going to tell me a whole lot better way of cooking yeah, this yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. These little potatoes, y'all, I'm just going to lay them over in there. Go get us a few more potatoes, Brody. He's good, y'all, at collecting them vegetables. We finna start cutting up here and putting these onions in there. Hey, easy. Slow down. He comes sliding down the hill on his belly. Did you, scuff your, did you scuff your chin up? No. No? All right. I'm on my chin. Yeah, you're going to have to go off. Uh, you're going to have to wash them. Just, we'll do it in a minute. Okay. You needing something, way to get up here where you can help, I'm assuming? Yeah. All right. Just get right up there then. <laughs> you, you chair a little wobbly. Yeah. We y'all, we've been a cleaning up under here. Tell them what you looked at through that welding helmet. Mm -hmm. Go tell them, turn around and tell them. Tell them what happened. I bet we they don't know about it. We saw the moon. We saw the moon? 
Where was it at? Up in the sun, passing the sun. Yeah. We got that weld and had that war bonnet out and looked at it. You could see it good. I tried to take some pictures of it. They didn't turn out real good. I'll put one of them up there and let y'all look. Y'all hear it rattling? I put I put that airplane whirly bird right up here on top of my shed. And boy, that thing, it gets to going sometimes. Y'all, I done took a liking to these fishing knives. They got that long old blade. They ideal for such as this. Ain't they brutal? So we've been working on some knives this morning and finishing up some projects. We're fixing to start grinding on some more knives. I got Uncle Sasquatch a couple of blades I got to do and Mike Sabella wanting a couple of blades and we got to get some of these other products. I got a couple of patch knives that's got to be made still. At that point, I'll just about be caught up on the stuff that I promised out. And then I've got some other folks that have wanted some stuff. But at this part point, we're not going to take orders. I'm just going to build some knives and then put them up for sale. That way I can kind of make what I want to make when I want to make it and be creative. That way they ain't, I don't want all of them the same. I, it just, I don't know. When everybody looks exactly the same, it takes the uniqueness out. All right. Well, y'all, that is about what we got right now. Oh, we got some salt right here. We ain't got no Tonys out here, Brody. Tonys? We're going to put some salt in there, though. We got a little bit of water left right here in this bucket. We're gonna, it's gonna be like some broth. We don't want to drown it though. Where's the, we the need, cow heart? It's off in there. Oh, we're gonna add a few more potatoes though. Let's go wash these potatoes we got right here. Yes, we wash. Brody got us a few more taters there. We washed yeah. them up. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Tell them what we threatening doing here in a little while. We're cooking. No, what what we think about going to do? Uh, did that pond? What we gonna see down there? Alligator. Right? Yeah, our snake. We see some fish too. We are gonna see if there's any crappie down there. Want to act right, huh? And we're gonna see if there's some turtles. Can we shoot the turtles? I don't want to shoot nothing today. And, and then, and if if we do, we probably don't need to tell them folks. They, they, some of them get aggravated. All right. Reckon we ought to season it with that golden rod. <laughs> we could garnish your top of it with it. Look, what kind of seasoning is this, Brody? The spread outdoor seasoning. That, we, that's good enough to eat them raw, ain't it? Turn around and tell them we're going to eat it raw. We're going to eat it white. Raw. Why? So eat them raw. Eat them raw. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to put a, a good bit in there, y'all. All right. Yeah. Let me let y'all take a look at this kid. I can lower that down if I need to up here with these chains. But we don't want to get it too hot right off the bat and burn nothing up, so we're going to let it go slow, take his time. We ain't in no hurry, are we, Mr. Brody? 
Tell them, say, egg now. Egg now. That may be too low, Reg. I may have got too much water in it. I think I'm gonna leave that lid. Yeah, crack just a little bit. Where some of it can get out. Bang it into the cooker. I ah. didn't burn my stale. Yeah, you didn't. Do we need some more wood? No, that's more than enough. I hear Papa. Papa Jay. I hear Papa Jay going to the house. Oh, that looks good, baby. Yeah, let's eat it. Let's eat it? Yep. All right, well, we got to find somewhere to lay this thing. It's lid. It's going to be a bucket. Well, no, a plastic bucket in a milk. Hey. Okay, you found one. Let's find something. Well, no, all right. That pretty boy. <laughs> you can lay that right there. I don't know if you will. Yeah, I think my coat off. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to lay down too much. Where I gotta put it? Just throw it down. Uh -oh. I don't want to get her. <laughs> <laughs> you a mess. You know that boy. Uh, right. What I'm gonna do with you, huh? You gonna throw me in the garbage? Throw you in the garbage? No. You ain't good for anything. No. You not? I don't like you. <laughs> Let's sample this. Mm -hmm. You want that piece? Yeah. Is it hot? Yeah. Not too bad? No. I want to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hot? Mm -hmm. Lay it on your stump. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. That's dirty. I dropped it. You dropped it? Mm-hmm. Can you give me a piece of ink hot? No. Go it all hot. Hey. There's your piece right there. Yeah, 
blow it. Him. So you fall and get hurt. Is it good? Tell them folks how wonderful it is. It's good, good. I come throw these peppers in here late so they wouldn't cook the mush. Ah. <coughs> A little spicy though. See if these taters are done. Yep. Yep. So we've been taking this in the house. I just wanted to cook out here over this fire and I done got that all over my handle. Can you put me on camera? It's on. you got in there? Mustards. Well, ham. No, that's bacon. With bacon and onions. I did like JR put a little garlic in there. Yeah, an onion. Yeah. Brody, are you coming to eat? Y'all, he's still outside playing. Ugh. Oh, I wasn't gonna break the turn okay. Whatever they're called. Look at him, y'all. That cornbread. Oh, gonna get me a wedge of that. What cornbread is good? You want some dark green, mustard green? I want to see some cow heart. All right, well, come over here and let's get you some cow heart. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't get everything in your chair. Where's my chair? On the other side. You always sit. This is my. Y'all, that's how you do them greens right there. What do you do? Yeah, at your seat right there. Mm. I'm gonna have to turn the camera because I can't nobody see Brody. I'm going to cow heart. Okay, we finna fix you up. Give me a plate. I got your plate right here. I'm finna put your stuff on it, okay? Y'all, we ain't done no whole lot of cooking in this pot since I bought it back, what, in the spring when I bought it? I'm gonna cut Brody's peaches where he can... Well, you can have cornbread, but you want some greens? Greens? Yeah. No. Okay, I need some greens. You got a giant piece of cornbread. <clears throat> All right, Brody, here's your, here's your plate. Put your cornbread on. You want some potatoes, too? I really needed... Uh, a spoon in this. You got a spoon I can... I can't get no taters. Gotta have some of them taters. Mm -hmm. How big a spoon? 
Thing. All right, there's something I can dip taters with. We gotta say the blessing. I want potatoes. Oh, that's good. All right, we're gonna say the blessing, Brody, for we eat. And you done started eating. Dear Lord, we're so thankful for this food. We pray that you bless it for the nourishing our bodies. It will give us strength and good health. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, Michelle really loves when we get to eat on camera with her turban on. I had already got a shower and washed my hair. I hadn't washed you. I didn't know he was going to film supper. <laughs> we have turnip greens. Is well, these good? are mustard greens. And y'all, these mustard greens came up volunteered down there. I didn't even plant these. The ones I planted are just now coming up. Wait till you chew that up before you put it in the morning. You got to hold my full. Michelle will not eat none of this heart. As good as it is, it's just something about the idea. She just said she ain't eating. You can't chew it. Is it good, Brody? He's got a whole mouthful. Mm. Don't stick nothing else in your mouth till you eat that. Mm. Y'all, you can just about make a complete meal. Out of cornbread and Don't green. Don't put the whole thing in your mouth. Just chew off of it. <laughs> These little peppers is hot too. Mm. Don't eat them. <laughs> I like them hot. My <laughs> brother said, "Then don't eat them." <laughs> Just turn your back to them. Ain't no need in you looking at the camera none, is it? Have you had a good day today? Huh? He said he wouldn't know watch TV no more. Tell him why you ain't watch TV no more. Because I want to watch Octonauts. He told us it wasn't good for you to watch too much TV. And I fully agreed with him. How much autumn is for a little bit? I don't know what that is. But they go on the ocean. Got like 20,000 leagues under the sea? Yep, but it's watch other months. Well, y'all... I'm going to finish eating my supper, eat all these greens and this heart. Hey, this is a good meal. But anyway, Brothers wanting to watch Octonauts or something. You might look at that after a while. I don't know what it is. Wait, it's Octonauts. They go out in the sea and they help all the creatures. Oh, you got fleas? No, that's from the mice. He threw rocks and dirt in his hair one day. Yeah, I threw them at Mama. Well, y'all, we fix and finish eating. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. <laughs> we'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.